Yeah, so that's um, a f one of the favorite uh, apps from uh, the group this year. So it is a general knowledge that autoimmune disease is a risk factor for amcus and myeloma. Um, so this is something that uh, clinicians do and rheumatologists do and general practitioners, if they have a, a, an individual with an autoimmune disease like arthritis and, and, and uh, diseases like that, they perform uh, a protein electrophoresis to see if, if they have uh, an M spike or amcus or maybe even myeloma. Sometimes they do that repeatedly over time. Uh, so the reason I think this has become a thing in the literature is there are these clinical cohorts of AMCUS. So AMCUS is asymptomatic. It's not diagnosed uh, because of uh, uh, any symptoms. It's diagnosed because these individuals have something else, another medical illness or symptom that is unrelated to the AMP spike. So the clinicians, they do SPAP, they find an AMP spike, and they, that doesn't explain anything that had, uh, was wrong with the patient, but they are stuck with the AMP spike. So then they build this AMCUS cohorts of clinical cohorts that are, that are biased by the underlying disease that led to this detection, hence autoimmune disease. So what we did, we screened these individuals for AMCUS, we screened 75,422 individuals, we found 3,700 of them had an AMP spike, they have AMCUS, then we have the nationwide registry, so every clinical diagnosis that is made in Iceland, it's at the general practitioner's office, in the hospital, inpatient, outpatient, and in private clinics, every ICD code is available to us. So we cross-link these data and see, is autoimmune disease more prevalent, more common in those with AMCUS compared to the rest? And the, the, uh, what we could see is that it's absolutely not associated. So autoimmune disease does not uh, cause uh, uh, MCUS and it's not even a risk factor for MCUS. What we could also do, and that I think to show and, and prove this association in the other studies, we have within the ISTA BAM study, we have uh, a little, uh, around 250 individuals that have MCUS that was already diagnosed before we started the screening study. So this is our clinical cohort of MCUS that is similar to all the other studies. And what we saw them there, we cross-linked that to the autoimmune disease and we could see their autoimmune disease was related to AMCOS. So it's clearly an underlying bias in the prior study. So that's, a, that's the thing.